Hey, nice to see you all again. <laughs> I am Husky Light. Thank you for stopping by. Um, for those of you that have been subscribers for many, many years, thank you so much. For those of you that are just joining, thank you so much as well. For those of you just joining, it might be a good idea for you to go and check out all of my old videos, um, all of my old content to get a feeling of who I am, where I'm coming from, and um, what's happening um, out in the spiritual world, out in the world of woo, and um, just to catch, I'm, I'm basically coming on for a catch up at the moment because I've not been on YouTube for four years, three years, somebody will probably um, correct me on that it's it's been a it's been a while it's been a while and um the reason so many reasons i was led by spirit to step away and there were several reasons for me stepping away from youtube one i'd only just got into canada going through the immigration process um settling into my new life here so I'm pleased to say I'm now a Canadian resident, yay. <laughs> so you're not getting rid of me that easy. I am I have been for nearly two years, it was last January, January 23. Um, I finally became a Canadian permanent resident. Um, and I wanted to just settle in, meet the neighbors, um, make new friends over here live a relatively you know settle live a relatively normal life uh with robbie and um i've done all of those things and i still carried on doing my readings um i do health and wellness shows uh where i do my readings and sell my pyramids and everything else websites website www.huskylight.com is still up and running. Um, I'm not going to look at any comments until after I've done this reading, uh, simply because it's going to freak me out because this is my first time back on camera in, in quite a while. Now it's taken me, I decided I was going to come back on YouTube. Then I got a respiratory virus thing, uh, which I'm just getting rid of now. And, um, yeah, so much has happened and we've gone through so much, uh, before anybody asks, especially my old subscribers that have been with me, that have been loyal, um, Robbie and I are doing great, um, he, Robbie has spent the last two years, um, battling illness and he's battling it really really battling it it's it's been a very uh difficult couple of years um and we're still we're still battling it so um i've i've spent a lot of time uh caring for him and that was another reason not to not to be doing this at the moment um and but so much has happened in the world so much <laughs> we have what i have watched so many people awaken which is amazing and at the same time i've watched the world fall apart um and moving forward this channel is going to change a little bit I'm not going to do monthly weekly um, astrological sign readings I may step into collective consciousness readings don't really want to but if I can go in and just observe and step out again then I'll do that um, without empathically being pulled in or, or, or feeling, um, because the, 
the world is in a very, uh, is in flux. We're ending one era. We're entering another. We're at that reset point. Very much so. Um, so I will go into that. Oh, there's my little Luna moving around. Still got little Luna. Um, obviously, I left the Huskies in England. And unfortunately, um, they both passed. Uh, have passed within the last, uh, I think, what's four years and three years ago. Um, but they were 11 and 12. So they did really well. They did really well. And spiritually speaking, oh my God, the amount of experiences and things and downloads and uh, involvement and raising up to different levels of, of consciousness has, has been crazy crazy over the uh, over the past few years um and i'm going to go into all of that as as we as we move forward this video here is just like a catch up it's a hi i'm back on youtube i'm going to start making videos again it is going to be 2.0 because like i say i'm not going to do that was a lot of hard work and um i'm now going to be sharing my time between youtube personal readings, um, the shows during the summer and, and, you know, living my life here as well. Um, and, and caring for Robbie, being with Robbie. So, but the amount, I want to, I want to change things. I want things to evolve, to move forward. We're doing this on a new moon, which is all about putting new things out there, expanding everything. So collective consciousness readings, I will do possibly new moon and, and full moon readings will, will come through as well. Um, one of the main things that I want to do is I want your experiences. I want your awakening stories. I want your spiritual journeys. I want your NDEs. I want your OBEs. Um, your cryptid stories because that has fascinated me for the past few years the last interview one of the last interviews i did on youtube was with mike patterson talking about sasquatch i had no idea what a sasquatch was a sabe a bigfoot i've seen it four times now and the last time it was 15 feet away from me so Oh my God, the stories with that. So I'm going to be doing blogs in order to help people. Oh, and orbs and lights in the sky and the spiritual connection between all of all of these paranormal things, all of these cryptid, cryptid things, all of it is connected. So I'm going to go into all of that. I also want to answer your questions. Um, I am going to go through, I put a video out on what happens when your twin flame passes. That was one of the last videos I did as well, which I find very interesting at the moment. And, um, so many beautiful and tragic and saddening and just deep felt emotion in the comments on that video which if you've not looked at please go and look at um i'm going to go through some of those comments and i hope because it's been a while since i did that video that, that a lot of those people that have commented or did comment i hope that you have moved further along into a place of acceptance and peace and confidence within yourself and expansion that things are not as painful as they may have been back then uh, but i will go through some of those comments as well um those of you that have had your own 
paranormal, Sasquatch, uh, awakening, OBE, all of it. I want to hear from you. Some of you have held this inside for years. There is nothing you can say to me <laughs> that would ever surprise me anymore. Um, nothing that would take me back. Nothing that would... Uh, there is just full understanding from me, from my subscribers as well, because I wouldn't want any subscribers on here that does, don't understand about what you've been through. So anything like that, please email your story into me. And I'm going to do a little ditty at the beginning of every video that I make saying, please email me. Tell me what your story is. You can come on with me and we can do this on, on Zoom, on camera, or I can just read your email out. But it, it's about clearing. It's about bringing things to the surface that need to be heard by other people because it's going to help them. It's going to help awaken them. It's going to help them understand. It's going to help them resonate. It's going to help other people, including yourself, realise that you're not alone. Realise that other people have seen this and gone through this. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. So... This is just a quick update while I get used to re recording videos again and and the get used to it again. This is this is big and I have so much to say and share and get into but I need some feedback as well, please. So comment comment down below. Let's lead this beautiful channel because it is a beautiful channel i have beautiful subscribers i have amazing people that watch um lead this channel forward and expand it again let's get the word out let's uh, share stories let's share experiences that we have had spiritually um in in any sense of the word this world as we go through these changes is messed up some of it is really messed up some of it is 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 beautiful everything is two two sides of the same coin everything is duality this is the planet this is the the earth uh this is the density that we chose to come into and I want to get into all of that. Oh, I do want to tell you one of my first interviews that I've got uh, that will be coming out uh, probably in a couple of weeks is with the Quantum Businessman with Christopher Anatra. If you haven't checked him out, go and check him out. Um, go and have a look at him. Glitches in the Matrix. I want to hear those stories too. Synchronicities. Um the fact that I that we may live in a si simulation. The very fact that this is a simulated world. And that is interacting with us. That we manifest in. That we experience. I wouldn't say learn from anymore. I think it's more of an experience that we're happening. Yes, there is lessons in things. Yes... There is an involvement, but I, I also think our soul just comes here to experience things as well. Um, I don't think we're going through karma anymore. I don't think it's karmic. A lot of my um, beliefs, things that I thought of and I understood, have evolved since I was last on. And there has to be evolvement. There has to be. <laughs> That's part of the spiritual journey, is evolving, taking on new ideas, either resonating with them or throwing them away. Um, but there has to be this evolvement, this understanding as an adjustment, as our world changes. 
as our, our experiences change. So there has to be that evolvement um, for everybody. If you stay stuck in the same belief system, it's a belief and you're stuck in it, you're trapped in it, which is exactly where um, the archons, the darker side of things want to keep you. They want to keep you enclosed. They can control you better if you're enclosed in that little bubble. And it's, uh, 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 and it's continually about breaking out, raising up, breaking out, going to another level, going to another level, um, and leaving people behind bringing other people with you if you've left people behind new doors will open new people will come in it's it's just this this way that it works so thank you uh-huh <laughs> namaste um yes i have aged it's been a while i went through menopause pretty much as soon as i got over here i started going through the menopause thankfully i'm not having as many hot flashes put on 40 pounds I'm working on it and um yeah so the interview with the quantum businessman is coming up I am going to share my Sasquatch experiences with the lights with the orbs with getting locked in a hobbit house by a Sasquatch um and these are not scary experiences either these are fascinating. These are beautiful. I am so blessed. And I'm just so blessed to... You don't find Sasquatch. It finds you. He finds you. I am so blessed to have had those experiences. And whether I have more of those experiences, I don't know. I would imagine I will. One thing I will say is that every time I've seen him, he's got closer and closer. Um say the last experience he was 10, 10 foot away 15 foot from me so he's got closer every time and yeah I'm going to go into that on another video <laughs> so without going on with myself because I'm literally uh, I wanted to check the audio check um everything's coming out all right everything's coming out clear that i'm clear the audio's clear everything's clear all right namaste you have a beautiful wonderful day um and i will speak to you soon i'm going to be bringing out videos two to three times a week all right bye and i want to hear from you email